Though only 9% of the total land area is regarded as arable, more than 80% of the population of Lesotho still relies on agriculture for livelihood. The steep topography, erratic rainfalls, and bad agricultural practices make these mostly shallow and fragile soils very vulnerable to disturbance. GROW is a Mohotlom-based NGO working with two communities to redress land degradation. It is building capacities of the communities and their leaders to identify and implement strategies aimed at preventing, curbing and reclaiming degraded land. In the case of Hamakhabane, excessive runoff from the mountainside is causing havoc in the cropland down below. Conservation structures that were constructed in earlier efforts did not cover the whole area and some have given in to the powerful waters. The villagers are now approaching their work with a new resolve. Equipped with more skills in soil and water conservation, they have embarked on dealing with the runoff once and for all by constructing a series of diversion channels to take all the excess runoff and transport it to a place where it can be safely disposed of. Fodder will be planted on the embankment to stabilize it. The whole village is participating in the project under the leadership of the chief and support from the local community council. All the hand tools used in the construction works belong to the local community council. The community has shown a lot of commitment and has been very cooperative since the start of the work. This is what the leader of the village committee set up to coordinate the work said when presenting progress thus far. For some of us, the road ahead is very short and we may not live to see the fruits of our toil. We may not have the energy to pick up a shovel, but our being here shows how committed we are to this task. We are hungry now and there is nothing much we can do about it. Hungry as we are, we must do all this hard work to secure the future of our grand and great grandchildren. There aren't enough words to thank GROW and the GEF for their support in this endeavor. Here we are not only protecting our land from being eroded, but we are also securing food for our families and the fruits of our toil will be enjoyed by our children and the generations to come. In the case of Mudigadiko, cropland is being eroded as a result of water diverted from a road at the ridge top. The runoff from the diversion has cut a very deep gully which is eating away the cropland. The community in this village is as committed as the Mahabani community and they are rehabilitating the gully by building gabions and planting trees and other plants to stabilize the gully. This is hard work as stones have to be rolled down from the mountainside. The work we are doing here is very hard and strenuous. It is also not very appealing as it does not address the immediate needs of the community, such as the hunger we are crippling with now. But as you can see, we are as committed as ever because this is our heritage. I feel so humbled to be working with such a cooperative community. The level of commitment and the strength of the relationship between the chief, the community council and the community we are observing here are rare to find. This is what the SGP program officer had to say in his words of encouragement to the community.